Congress. Without objection. Mr. Chairman and members of the House, at the end of the day when we vote today, we will simply be voting to kick the can down the road, which every member of this House has told their constituents they no longer wanted to do. But we will kick the can down the road on the question of the debt limit of the United States and whether or not the full faith and credit of the United States will stand behind the bills that we owe the rest of the world, the businesses in our company, individuals, people's retirement plans. That's all this bill does. Under some sort of camouflage about withholding pay, what have you, they kick the can down. You know, Americans are starting to realize that their economy is starting to recover after the devastation of the housing scandals, of the, of the Wall Street scandals. Small businesses are starting to hire. Spending over Christmas was reasonably good. The stock market is at a five-year high. Housing market is coming back. Builders are, in fact, building new homes because of the demand in housing. And all of a sudden, enter the Congress of the United States and says that we're going to put the full faith and credit of the United States of America on a 90-day leash. We're going to take the greatest economy in the greatest country with the greatest responsibilities in the world, and we're going to put them on a 90-day leash. How does a great country respond on a 90-day leash? We know how it responded last time in the world when they saw this happen. We got downgraded in the credit rating. That drove up the borrowing cost of the United States. That drove up the borrowing cost of corporations. That drove up the borrowing cost of counties and cities, the counties and the cities that we represent. And we're told again that should we falter on the credit debt of the United States, that we can expect a downgrade and we can expect a further downgrade in cities and counties all over the country. And somehow we're supposed to believe that this is a good plan. What this plan does, I ask the gentleman if I have three additional minutes. I, I, I yield the gentleman uh, two additional minutes. Two. The gentleman is recognized for an additional two minutes. What this plan does is hold the jobs of America's families and working people all across this country. It holds them hostage. It holds them hostage to the passage of this legislation. It holds them hostage 90 days from now. This bill says if you don't vote for the Ryan budget, because we know the votes are on the other side of the aisle to pass the Ryan budget, then we go back to putting the, the credit of the United States at risk. The last time the American people looked at the Ryan budget, they rejected it overwhelmingly. Do you remember the election of November? Just a couple of months ago, they rejected those cuts in Medicare, those, those cuts in, in Medicaid, those, those, the, 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 the cut, tax cuts for the wealthy. And yet all of this is being put back on the table by holding the debt limit hostage, holding the credit hostage, holding American jobs hostage. So if you don't vote for that budget, then they get to play with the debt limit again. They get to play with the debt limit again. We got big lifts to make between now and then, folks. We have sequestration. We have tax reform. We have a budget to write. Let's just get down to the business and do it. Just do it. Don't play with the credit of this country. Don't play with people's pension plans. Don't play with the interest rates that corporations have to pay to borrow. Don't play with the interest rates that your local municipalities have to borrow for projects in their district. This has got to stop. If you really believe that America is a great country, if you really believe that we're an international power, then we ought to start acting like one, and the Congress of the United States ought to start acting like it. And 90-day extensions on the creditworthiness of the United States is not the picture you paint when you're, when, you're, when you're an international power. And it has to stop. It has to stop. We cannot continue to go through this and put all of this at risk and put this recovery that is in fact sure. happening at risk on, be, on, on because I, I of I yield them an additional one minute. The gentleman is recognized for an additional one minute. Because of the actions of the majority here in this House, to, put, to, 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 to once again fool with the credit. You want to shut down the government? Have at it. I was here when it happened before. You'll find all your constituents up close and personal. You'll get to know them. That's a lot different. That's a lot different action. You want to go off with sequestration? You don't like the cuts that come up with in substitute? 
Fine, we voted for sequestration. You told the American people with your votes you were prepared to have sequestration if we didn't do the job. So you got a lot of tough votes to make. Don't try to avoid them by holding the creditworthiness of the United States at risk. It has got to stop, and it should stop today on the floor of the House of Representatives. We should say to the world, we are prepared to have this country pay the bills, the debts that have been incurred by our actions. It's got to stop today with a no vote against this legislation. From Texas.